how has the Quran changed your life? Yeah. If the Quran settles in one's heart, you would see this person transforming into a new person in terms of their character, their behavior, their worship, and even if they're non-Muslim. And how many people who have just read the translation and decided to embrace Islam? Because Allah Azza wa Jal, He said, "Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarak." This is a book that we have sent down upon you, O Muhammad. It is blessed. Anybody who comes into contact with it is blessed. Allah I feel Allah. blessed. I feel privileged. I feel honored and I feel favored. I feel like there's a great virtue upon me. There's always gems that you can take out of the Quran. You find the most knowledgeable person, when he reads the Quran, he would be in a state of awe. But he's knowledgeable. He's read these verses. He's understood them. It's in his heart. But when he comes into contact with it again and again and again, every time he reads it, he takes another benefit. He would fall into prostration out of the greatness of the speech of Allah Azza wa This is the Quran. Allah says, "Ma farratna fi al-kitab min shay," and we haven't left anything outside of this Quran. Yes. From the time it was revealed until when the horn is blown and there's global destruction, the Quran will be applicable. When you listen to music, it brings temporary enjoyment for some people, and that's about it. But the Quran, if you listen to it, even if you don't understand what it is, it heals your insights. It removes any type of heaviness in the heart. The Quran has come down to make you happy. ما أنزلنا عليك القرآن لتشقى. We have not sent down the Quran for you to be sad. If you're sad whilst you still have the Quran, it's not because of the book. It's because of you. Hmm. This book's perfect. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has attributes, and His attributes are perfect. And from His attributes, He speaks. So the style and the language that is used in the Quran is also perfect. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala refers to us as those whom He loves. مَا وَدَّعَكَ رَبُّكَ وَمَا قَلَى Your Lord does not hate you. He does not hate you. And on top of that, we haven't forsaken you. In another place, we're near to you. In another place, we're nearer to you than your jugular vein. In another place, come back to us. We want you here. In another place, وَهُوَ الْغَفُورُ الْوَدُودُ And He is the most merciful and the most loving. Loving to whom? Allah has no family. He's talking to us, that means. He loves us. In another ayah, He's saying, I am calling you to the home of peace. Why? So you can be with him. So when you come across verses like that, you are going to fall in love with Allah. You are going to fall in love with the Quran naturally. This is the Quran. Nah. Amazing, Subhanallah.